Okay, I am doing a bloom. I'm calling my precious metals bloom. And I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. It's <laughs> total disclaimer. <laughs> we will see, I never know. I have an idea in my head, but we never know how that's gonna translate into real life. Um, so this is Fire Opal. And I've mixed my colors with, um, most of them are soft body paint that I've mixed with the um, Valspar Ultra High Gloss Base C and mix that with the, you know, polyurethane gloss, barethane gloss, um, three to one. And this is Athena. So I have TLP in there, and this is a color shift pearl white. It's kind of pretty. And 24 karat gold. 24 karat gold. I have pewter. Pewter is kind of really taking the place of my silver. <laughs> and then I have Golden's Payne's Gray. So we'll see what happens with this. I'd, I'm not sure. I'm gonna be pouring on a wood round that I found in Michael's and it has a leather strap that's with two um, uh, furniture tacking tacks that, that hold the leather strap to the sides of it so you can hang the circular board on a wall. So I thought that'd be kind of neat to pour on to see how it goes. I've used some of my old um, white paint from another pour to give it kind of like a wash base coat so it sort of primes the surface for the board um, so it's not just the board. And my cell activator is Aussie Floetrol mixed with titanium, Amsterdam titanium white. And my other cell activator is, I think, Black Oxide, Amsterdam Black Oxide. So those are my colors. That's what we're gonna try to use. And we're gonna try to do maybe multiple blooms on that board and see what kind of design we get. I'm gonna be trying for something Art Deco inspired and kind of elegant. So let's go get started. Now, as you can see, I'm putting down my pillow paint, and that is my PPG house paint, my white house paint mixed with a little GAC 800, and the names and everything will be in my description box, so you can check those out if you would like to try it for yourself. And if you're just joining us, our Friday Night with Friends train is what we're on this evening, and our, my good friend Tiffany Remine is our engine, leading us off at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I, of course, pouring together is at 7 p.m., and following me is Cynthia Porter Studio at 7.15 p.m., and she is followed by our caboose this evening, which is It's Art by Donna M at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please check everybody's videos out. Uh, the theme is Bloom Bellishing. And after my word that I came up with, my silly word, from um, my last Bloom video. And so we're all doing some sort of Bloom and some sort of adapted Bloom that is embellished in some way. And so I know you'll want to check everybody's videos out and see how they interpreted Bloom Bellishing. Now, I called this my Precious Metals Bloom because I'm essentially trying to use Precious Metals colors. Um, I'm using 24 karat gold. I'm using the Fire Opal, which really looks like a copper. <laughs> Donna, I know you'd want me to say it that way, copper. So <laughs> it looks like copper and 
Then I'm also using, Ro well, Athena, which really looks like a beautiful rose gold. And I'm using Pewter by Art Deco, but it, it actually kind of looks like a nice kind of blue tone silver. And then I'm also using a, um, a pearl white that is a color shift, and it's really pretty. And I figured like that would be a nice compliment to those. And then I'm using a Payne's Gray because the Payne's Gray gives it kind of like a ghostly kind of foggy color that lends itself towards kind of like a lavender or a purple tone. And I just thought that would be kind of a nice mix. And of course I'm using the black and white cell activator. And my idea was to get something that looked a little bit art deco-ish and was a little bit more muted and elegant and so that's what I was going for and so as you can see there I was kind of pleased with these and they're a bit unusual but I really like them and I like what that Payne's Gray is doing and uh, as you see in a little bit when I start spinning it it's gonna do even more and right now I am blowing out. I'm doing this kind of like a Lori Houston and Tiffany remind do this and Lori Houston that we've seen her do it. Um, kind of her flower pop. Um, and so I thought it would be nice to do some 24 karat gold with the Payne's gray and the black cell activator and make these kind of almost elegant rosebud looking, you know, buds like three of them to complement the design. But as you can see there, I made a mistake. I blew a little too hard and then <laughs> splattered the stuff everywhere. So I'm just showing that you can always roll with your dowel, um, with your skewer, roll the paint over that, and that kind of takes care of that and sort of erases it. And now comes the fun blue embellishing part. And so I'm just going to let you listen to some tunes and watch me on my little creative journey here, trying to bloom embellish these blooms and figure out where I want these swoops and swirls to go. And yeah, just enjoy. I just also wanted to remind you guys that I'll be premiering another video on Sunday. I'll be on the acrylic crazy train Sunday lineup of videos. My video will premiere on Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And starting us off being the engine on Sunday will be Cy with Frosty Eye Candy and his show The Joy of Pouring. And that will start at 5 p.m. leading everybody off. So be sure and check out uh, the crazy train of videos on Sunday as well. Now, as you can see, I've been trying to make sure that the design is centered on the spinner. And I'm trying to get the whole thing to open up more so that it's covering more of the whole diameter of the large circle, the large wooden circle. So it has, and I really liked, you know, how that came out. And I was showing you the leather strap that connects to the top here after it was dried there. And you can see it hanging on the wall. And I really like how elegant it turned out and the art deco kind of feel with those 
gold rosebud looking blossoms and then the actual blooms I thought turned out very pretty. There's still a lot of sparkle to them and they don't even have any um, gloss on them or any resin on them yet and still have this really beautiful shine in uh, the light when you look at them when the light catches it. And there you can see the beautiful sparkle um, when it was wet. I mean it's just stunning how much that uh, sparkle catches the light and I love how elegant and kind of ghostly that Payne's Gray looks there and that webbing and the lacing how it's catching the light and I really can't wait to um, gloss this one and either put resin on it um, it'll really bring that back to life and yeah I just thought the overall design was very elegant and very Art Deco I do feel like it's kind of got an Art Deco feel to it and I love the Athena and the Fire Opal how they're catching the light and that almost looks butterfly wing like there and um, yeah I think it turned out really nice and kind of achieved what I was after well I'm hope you've had fun on this night of bloom embellishing and after me is Cynthia Porter Studio, and we're gonna head over to Cindy's next. And I know she's got a really amazing bloom. I, even just from the thumbnail, it looks really beautiful, her bloom and bloom embellished piece. So we're gonna head there next, and I hope you've had fun. I know that I've had fun with you guys, and I hope that you'll try to do some blooms and some bloom embellishing for yourself. And as always, I have had so much fun with you, and I can't wait until we meet again for some more fun pouring together.